And welcome in training camp practice support. Michael Grady alongside two words, Nas Reed. Nas, you got one preseason game in the books. How would you rate the performance of the team and how good it felt to get out there? Uh, yeah, I think 1 through 15, even the younger guys, uh, some of the two A's. I think everybody played well. Um, I mean, I think uh, I probably rated uh, eight and a half. Still got a little bit of rust. But yeah, I think everybody played well, and they, uh, you know, everybody I did a big part of you know of the game and training camp overall. So, so much talk about the work that guys put in individually and collectively in the off season. How would you describe the motivation that you guys had after the way last season ended? Yeah, man, I think everybody has a lot of motivation. Like I said, we don't want to just you know we don't want to be a team that got to the Western Conference. We want to be a Western Conference team. So I think uh, everybody's super motivated to get back to that situation. But obviously we got an 82 game series or season to go through. So, but everybody's motivated. Everybody's happy to be here. So that's good. I want to ask about what you've seen about some of your teammates. I'm gonna start with the rookie Rob Dillingham, who had a really good start in that preseason game. Yeah, he's he's been he's been great. And the thing about him, he's been picking up. He's been learning and understanding you know, when to facilitate, when to, when to score. So I think that's huge with him. What have you seen from uh, as as we get uh, serenaded by Joe Ingles? Uh, Anthony Edwards and his his leadership and taking that to another yeah. level. Have you seen Have you seen growth there from him? Yeah, for sure. He's definitely stepped up, and you can see it. You know, I think going through the summer with playing with all the Olympian guys, I think you know that helps a big time. You got a chance to see where what they do and how they learn, and you know uh, how they reciprocate and so forth and so on. So I think um, it was huge for him to go through that experience and kind of you know bring that towards uh, uh, the, the Timberwolves. So I think. Um, it's been huge, and he's even had some of that, you know, in the last few years where you, every year you've seen growth in that, in that category. I'm going to go to Josh Minot. Minot had a really good game against the Lakers in their preseason opener. You know as well as anybody what the G League and that experience can do as far as helping grow your game. What have you seen from Minot? Yeah, man, I think uh, him being able to shoot the ball was huge, uh, running the floor and all, all those type of things. I think he went like 9 for 11 the other day or something like that. So I think that's huge. And then just understanding, you know, you're not a pup anymore. I mean, you still are, but, you know, you still have, you have younger guys behind you. So you, you, you kind of got to learn to, I guess, lead in that sense. The uh, same way I did, you know, everybody, you know, everybody has to has that chance to, you know, uh, take the next step and lead and learn from the next group of guys. You're coming off such a tremendous year. How do you build on what you were able to do a season ago in winning? Six man of the year. Yeah, I think just um, com going out there and competing in every way, shape, or form. I think uh, each year I've gotten better. Uh, each year I had to play a different role. So I think I'm uh, just learning. Like I said, learning, going along, and taking in everything that I can. And, um, uh, just like I said, just going out there and competing. For real. What have you seen from the new guys? We finally got to see. We saw Dante in the preseason game. Julius has been getting some practice reps himself. What have you seen from the two new guys? Yeah, man, Dante, he's, he's, he's tough, man, offensively and defensively. And then Julius, he's super tough. Like, he's you know, physical, strong, can get downhill. He shoot the ball. I mean, I think uh, they're, they're going to both work out for us. So. Longest tenured member of the Minnesota Timberwolves. You're the old man on the, <laughs> on the team, am I right? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and I'm only going into year six. So that's the crazy part. NBA moves fast. Um, uh, we did see a Nas retile in London. Did you see yeah, right did. behind the right behind the end zone? So the tiles are still making their making their rounds. What can we expect from this Timberwolves team as we get ready for the start of the NBA season? A lot of toughness, a lot of grit, grind, uh, defensive-minded team. You know, going out there to compete at the highest level. Uh, no excuses. Always appreciate it, my man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.